testimony is because of the teacher he said and na utavuna kwa wakati so and you reap in due time kwa hivyo mimi kabla hajakuja nimekuwa nikipanda kitu fulani kwa ajili ya kuishi na watoto wenyewe before you came there something have been planning in the life of many children nimekuwa nikikaa nao karibu watoto 16 i've been living with uh, almost 16 children sasa ilifika wakati msichana wangu alikonjeka mpaka akapata akapewa sumu kwa chakula it reached a time my daughter was poisoned na nikauza kile kitu kwa poma ikaisha and i sell everything i didn't have anything na nikaambia Mungu and i told we, God wewe ndio ulinipe kazi ya kukaa na watoto you are the one that give me this opportunity to sit with these children na nimeona shetani anataka kuchukua hii nafasi ili nirudishe watoto mali watoto and i see the devil want to take opportunity so that i send back these children where they came from mimi nitakaa nao na nitazitukana na mpaka wakati tutanifariki i will live with them until you bless me ilifika wakati sasa watoto kwenda shule nimeuza kile kitu it reached a time my children wanted to go to school and i had nothing sikuwa na kitu chochote i didn't have anything nikaa na mjomo kwangu sasa tutafanya namna i used to tell my wife what should, what will we do nimefika wakati nikataka tushinde shetani it has had, it is a, it has reached a time we have to be victory over satan kwa hivyo nashukuru missionary olga pamoja na kundas i thank because god because of missionary olga and gunas mimi mtoto wangu hata alikuwa day scholar kulipa kwa shida Mungu akanisaidia akaenda pota even my son who was day scholar and now is going to boarding school mimi siku ni mmoja kitu vitu ndogo ndogo tu lakini mimi nilipoa tuko pepe za nduku i didn't i didn't buy anything mine was just to take him to school kuongea na watu wengine wale ambao nimekaa nao nikashindwa sasa shule nyo walikuwa nasoma tena imefungwa even the other children who i used to live with them their school was closed nikashindwa nitafanya namna gani sita pesa za kutransfer watoto i didn't have money to transfer them i wondered what should i do ninashukuru kwa ajili ya missionaries i thank god because of missionaries walinunua vitabu kanua pako akalipa school fees then mimi nikapepa watoto nikapeleka buy books bags and i take this children to school sasa naungana na mtumishi wa Mungu Edward na anasema kwamba kila unapanda ndio unavuna. I want to agree with teacher Edward that whatever you sow you reap. Kwa hivyo mimi nilipanda kwa kulewa kwa kulewa watoto wenyewe. I just planted or sowing by raising other people children. Kwa hivyo mimi pia naomba nyinyi kama kanisa kwa ujumla. I pray you as church usijangalie udhaifu uliyo nao. Don't see look down yourself. Usijangalie familia umetoka ndani. Don't look the family you come from. Angalia Mungu aliyechu. Just look on to God. Kabla ya second thing, nimekuwa nikiomba kuhusu utuma. I've been praying because of ministry. Tumeomba, tumefunga, tumelia mpaka tukapoteza miili. We have been praying, fasting and even we lost weight. Mungu akawa anatufundisha kwamba hutumeni nenda kuinuliwa. God has been teaching us that your ministry will be lifted. Hata wanazasemba funga siku 14 na ile na tunafunga. Even God told us to fast for 14 days and we do that. Na mimi sikuwa na kitu. I didn't have anything. Kurejesha tu mekakuwa shita. Even to register ministry was a problem. Pamoja na mama Olga na nani walipoingia. When we met our brother Clovers and Gundas and Olga sasa wakaniambia ukienda nyinyi hamna certificate tunaenda America tukirudi mpaka mwa na certificate they say that if you don't have a certificate when you go back to America when you come back you must have a certificate mimi nilikaa katika kufunga na kuomba na mke wangu na wale wachungaji bwana karuhu tukasema kwamba acha tufunge kwa ajili ya we decided to pray and fast because of that issue na mungu tulipokuwa tunaendelea kwa maana register register in in re- kwaile ni sheria house mali wana register huko register house when where, where they register certificate in sheria house wanasema kwamba walifunga maneno ya register huko they t- say that they have closed registration of and kasema kwamba ewe Mungu yeye ndio ni kwaje kazi lazima kazi itimie and i say oh god who call me because of this ministry the, your work must be fulfilled na tukakaa katika kufunga na kuomba and we stay in fasting and praying nikasema hasa Olga wakirudi tutafanya namna gani and i used to say when Olga come back what will we do na walikuwa nafundisha maneno mazuri hapa kuhusu nahosi and they were teaching good things because of nahosi tengeneza kaishinini shule na kuna certificate they want to build a school and there is no certificate na nikaita mwenzangu tukakaa jina jeno secretary mwenzangu and i call our general secretary 
na tukawa ndani na tukawa tunafunga pamoja na mke wangu kwa sababu kufunga na kuomba and we used to be praying and fasting together with my wife kitu cha kushangaza something that surprised me niliambia mungu yule alijafika kwa ofisi wewe itaangulia huko i told god before we reach that office go ahead of us certificate ndio hii this is certificate <laughs> And this work is going according to how God has This testimony that I'm giving is a living testimony. And I've said that I will preach the gospel and then Jesus Christ come back. And this pastor who of this church who have been praying together Pastor William. Even God gave us revelation about this missionary we used to just pray keeping quiet na- saying nothing but i love this uh, pastor when we started praying and fasting and he came with the revelation and say pastor they i said that you and your wife you will go overseas we were, were like 100 people we were fasting na akasema leta kitabu and he say bring the book akaandika karatasi akasema in passport uko unaenda ngambo and he wrote something in the book and say this is a passport to go over so akasema si mjeso and say it is not a joke tunaomba na mnaenda kukutana na watu na wako unaenda ngambo na say you you are going to meet with people and one day you will go overseas kwa hivyo mimi nasema hivi Mungu alirevili alionyesha kazi kupitia pia kwa yeye mchungaji i'm saying that god also shows us everything will happen through this servant of god That's why I'm telling this uh, members of this class uh, whatever this man will go I feel it Even you, you see how it is looking when God will touch you can come with something and bless him Continue supporting pastor. Na nimeona kazi inaendelea kuwa vizuri. And I'm seeing the work is going one way. Hata pin ilikuwa inanisumbua. Even in KRA pin was the problem. Niliingia kwa ofisi kwa fujo. I went to that office <laughs> with force. Na nikapata hapo mechaa zaidi ya watu 30. I saw many people there like that. Na nikasema Mungu nimeahidi mkutano kwa mchungaji sasa kiongoze. Yes. Alisema God I promise a meeting at Pastor Willy. Nataka ujidhirisha mali hapa niingie na niwe wa pili kuhudhuria mali pale. I want you to, to reveal yourself and I want you to serve me here. Because even if it's or not God and up to now I could be still in town. I just waited when the security guard got out and then I went there. And I said God close them out of these people. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I thank God. Mungu aliyetuletea Olga pamoja na Kundas. God who brought Olga and Gudas. Hawa ni kama njia ya kupitia. They are the way. Wacha tuwashike kupitia kwa hawa Mungu atende kitu na hosi ipatlike hiyo tiki to size. Let's join them and let us support everything they have so that we can see changes in hosi. Maana Mungu alitufundia kwamba hilo kanisa tulikuwa tumejenga kwa rofu because God revealed that that church will be a storage building. Na tukawa tai ilikuwa inamulika inaenda mpaka Asia, Warabuni, sijui America wapi mwangaza ilikuwa inamulika inaenda huko. And we have the light that was shining Asia, America and all parts of the world. Na hiyo mwangaza kabadilika kuwa ni maji ya mtoni. And that light transformed into rivers. Na watu walikuwa wanatoka Asia wanakula wanakunywa wana maji wanakunywa. And people were coming from Asia and drink from that river. Kutoka America wanakunywa maji wanakuja mpaka na hapo. From America they come and drink that water. And walikuwa wanatoka katika nchi za tofauti. And from different countries. Na nimeshukuru ona mwenye tulikuwa na mtumishi wa kwanza alikuwa anaitwa nani? And we had another missionary Yuri. Alikuwa anatoka wapi? Russia. Yuri was from Russia. Tukakuwa na Dasha. We have Dasha. Alikuwa anatoka Washington. We was coming from Washington. Tumekuwa na James. We have we have James. Yeah, alikuwa anatoka sehemu za Britain. Island. From Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. The UK. Oh, we were in Britain, is it so? Yeah. Oh, na tumepata tena mwingine. And we have now Edward. Edward sasa sasa anatoka Belgium. And we have Edward now from Belgium. Sasa hapa maji yako na 
So these rivers now God is fulfilling it. So don't take this work uh, Job. Even Olga has some uh, DNA from the land of the blessed <laughs> land of Jesus Christ. Even Kundas is coming from Latvia. You see how God is bringing people? I pray, my dear. This is the work of God. Let's join a hand. Let the son Balat and Tobias talk, but let the work of God continue. Let's stand and the work of God will continue. I have many testimony, but because of time, God bless you. Thank you.